How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to our city of Jace. Now, we are playing Kingdoms and Castles, guys. If you did enjoy it, I just ended my stream, so I have these things up here to give shoutouts to Adam, aka Jules RS, my literally best friend. He did a donation on the stream, which was the highest donation of the stream, so huge shout out to him and massive shout out to Liam. Now, I am going to go ahead and turn those things off. That way, they're not in the, in, in you know, a little bit invasive of the stream. But, guys, welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff down below. Don't forget that notification bell. If you want to support me, there's a PayPal link in the description. And if you want to buy some merch, please, please, please go right ahead. Now, let's go ahead and continue what we were doing. So, people were cringing because the placement of my church isn't good. Now, it's not good at all. It needs to reach these houses here, or the main city. So, literally, I put that in such a bad spot. But a way to fix that is by building homes around it. So, it's really going to make it a little bit better now what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and put some roads through so we're gonna do some roads like this and then we're gonna put a house right here 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 and here including with these little areas there and there we won't put one on the sides because we're gonna go ahead and put iron there which again I think actually this one needs to be demolished now if all these homes being placed that is going to be really good for us because that's going to allow us to have a lot more people and it's going to do a little bit more for us in general so again i'm going to go ahead and put another road just like this and we'll have it go down just like that go a little bit behind here so what we're going to do is we're going to grab these houses and we're going to have them face this way luckily they're already trying to face this way which is fantastic now i'm going to have that house as well face this way have that house face there. That one I don't care about. Just like that. They're going to face just like that. And it's going to look really nice, hopefully. We're going to get a well and put it right here. And we're also going to get a well and put it all the way over here. Because that's going to help us out. We can go back into here and put a tavern down. Probably put it behind the bar, I think. Like behind the church. I think that'd be fine. And I'll have it kind of stowed away, hidden behind the church. We can go ahead, rotate that, and put that there. Then we're going to go back into the houses and put another house right here. We're going to grab this road. We're going to bring it all the way across, just like that. And right beside the church, I think we're going to put ourselves a well. Eh, no, we won't. We won't put a well there because we have a well here and there. That's too much wells in one area. I think we'll be fine. But we could get this fire bridge right by the church. I think that's going to be really sweet. It's going to protect the little area from fires. That's going to be the first time I've ever gotten that as well. Now, we have really high tier success there. So one thing we can increase on is the people's happiness. Now, we have ourselves a medic unit. So in order to increase their happiness, we're going to go through things like this. So this is going to cost a lot of gold. But it's going to increase the happiness of people in the town. Now, I don't know where on earth I can put this. Possibly over here. But I don't know. It looks a little weird in my opinion. So maybe we'll go here and then we'll branch it out with another one which again is super super expensive but we can do something like this i wonder if this classifies as a road could you put it on here you can oh cool i didn't know that oh the house is on fire but hopefully our people are going to handle that looks like they are which is perfect now our food's good our people we have Enough people for two, we have enough for 257 people, which is kind of ridiculous. One thing we need to get is probably increased tax rates because so we have so many people and we don't have enough increased tax rates. This is going to increase our happiness. We have ourselves already this over here for dead people, which is fantastic. Now, what we need is possibly a great hall, a barracks, a great hall we can try to work towards. It's going to cost 50, which should be good. That there we'll work on, but once we get our main castle kind of situated, I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and try to look towards getting this once we get 50 coins. And we're only 9 away, which isn't too bad. We might get hit by a plague, which will suck. But we can hit a, another church kind of place over here, and hopefully that goes away. So, I'm trying to get the Great Hall, was it? I think I was accidentally clicking on the Chamber of War right away that's exactly what i was clicking on i meant to click on this 
Or people are getting hit by plague, which again, I said that's probably going to come through the land. Because their people are quite unhappy. But at least they get to go be put away. Like, at least they get to be put away into the cemetery instead of just rotting away on the road, which is kind of nice. Now, I do want the stone, so in order to get that, we're going to need to get rid of some of this rocks. But in order to do that, I'm going to need the industrial area. And now we have a blacksmithing mine right here. If we can also put another one right there. People are star- are they starving? They shouldn't be starving. Yeah, I don't think they're starving. I think they just haven't gone home to eat. So I think that's their fault. Now, that cost us 50 gold. I didn't realize that. Um, we need to get this blacksmith here. The mason re repairs that. That's fine. Don't need it. I want to get the blacksmith. Sorry, we're running out. Can't run the mine because we're running out of staff. That's fine. I would like to get this. That way we can go ahead and make tools so we can make this and we can move rocks that we can place around here so we can get increased stone, which is going to really help us out. Now we have a lot of people. 137 people. We can literally get 120 more, which is kind of mad. We just need the money. So as this money slowly piles in, we can kind of like just look around. We're going to get attacked in two years for the next dragon, which is kind of crazy. But honestly, it's not too bad. I want to get this as soon as I can. So they're going to be kind of pissed since I just took away all their money. Oh well, who cares? The money will come back. It just might take a little bit. But hopefully that doesn't decrease this. Food storage. That's probably a good idea to get a little bit more food storage. I need to think about that. We're going to need some granaries. So we'll get a big old granary and put it there. We can grab a big old granary and put it here as well. So hopefully that's going to go and allow us to have a little bit more food storage. Now we do have the ability to get more farms as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully that's going to help us out with the food production. I think it should be okay. Now these windmills, we already have some there. So we could go ahead and put one right here as well. I think we're going to do really well. I love the look of our town. Now that we have all these houses in this area, kind of making a communal area, it makes the game look a lot nicer. So that's kind of crazy. Now, what's next? We can get a hospital. We need people to go to it. So right now, I don't think we want that. A chamber of war would be phenomenal. It's going to increase our town probably by a lot. This is going to allow us to get a military. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. Then we can go back into here and we can make our castle walls hopefully a little bit bigger. Hungry. My house has no food. You guys should have a lot of food. So I don't know why we don't. Decent farms, do we not? We actually have... Where is all of our farms? Are these the only... Far okay, they're right here. They're hiding. So we got farms here, here, here. Orchards. We got a lot. And just our people aren't really focused on it right now. Pheasants kill Pheasants killed by dragons. Oh god. I didn't even realize the dragon attack could actually ruin some of our houses. That's fine. Okay, it's okay. Where's this dragon at? It's flying away because it just destroyed us. We didn't even notice it. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. A dragon to just do a drive-by. I need this to go along here and then go probably out to like this spot. Make a nice square. Did you order foods? You're ordering it now? Did you order it now? Alright, whatever. Our people are not happy. Oh, it's only because of dragons. We're gonna get most likely attacked again, which is gonna suck. So that's really gonna hurt. They're gonna go back up to 65. Please don't get hit by the plague. I'm gonna be very, very sad person if that happens. I want this to get built up. How close is it? We're waiting for quite a few resources. We do have enough to do it, so that's good. We could replace all the roads. But again, that's gonna be really costly. 
But if we do with this, it's gonna help our people be a little bit happier. So maybe we can do that just for a little, a little bit of the areas. Like I said, it's gonna cost a lot, but it's gonna help our people be happy. So either way, it's better. It's gonna look weird though, I don't like it. I think it looks so weird. Why is, why is that like in the middle of the town? I thought it was supposed to be for like a park or something, but it's actually meant to be right there. Once this is built, we're gonna get some nice stuff as well, which will be sweet. It's gonna allow us to get some people for combat, I think. I'm not too sure how it works, but I know when Vikings attack, this is kind of what you want. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Go here. Increase range. Tower emote slows down. Invading ogres. Oh my gosh, what? Well, we're going to probably get destroyed because I don't know what the heck the feature holds. Cost 50, 50 gold to start up all forces to inflict double damage. Okay, so how do I get us some military? Miners could probably chill. So we have military now? What do they do? Do they actually do anything or is that just them chilling? I think they don't really do much. Maybe we can increase their stats once the bad guys come. But I don't know. What can I do to increase happiness for our people? So over here they don't really have happiness. So that's not good. I hear the cat, don't worry. You could probably make some food go over here. Now I don't know, can we get the swine? We can, we can get swines over here. So let's go ahead and get two swine barns. This is gonna increase food, so hopefully increase the happiness of the people around this area. Now, what else would increase the happiness of people? A church probably, I mean a hospital. That might increase them ha being happy. Uh, maybe another library. So maybe putting a library there will make them happier. I could have sworn we had a library somewhere else. I'm not too sure. We do have people that work in the fire department. So Liam is in here. Liam's in our game now. Working in the fire department. It should hopefully go up, maybe, once this church gets built. I'm really trying to figure it out what I can do to make these people a lot happier. Out of stone, that's fine. Vikings are invading. They're quite far away. Our town is right here. Thought I just lost it. Need 50 gold. Do I not have 50 gold? Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have a military because of that. Where are these Vikings at? I don't see them. to see where they are so we can prepare to get attacked. They're coming. Here they come. How do I attack these guys? Do they just go out on their own? What? Do they not do a single thing? 
Oh my god, look at these people at the library. At the hospital, they're wearing little plague doctor masks. That's hilarious. I don't know how we're supposed to fight because our military doesn't really do anything. That kind of sucks. Traumatic from Viking experience, that's great because we, we that's exactly what we need, people to be traumatized. We could go ahead and board off the main town. So that's going to keep everything from this direction entering our little town here. Maybe that's a good idea, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. How do I take care of these guys? My military doesn't do nothing. Fire's taking a hobble. Bruh, is there no way to take out them without building like a catapult or something? Or do you need the catapults? Gonna go this way. Should line up. Now we can go ahead and put this on each corner. Hopefully that's gonna increase our stuff a little bit. Now, I need them to cut back this entire area. That way we can put even more walls up to kind of protect us. I would like to get the walls like a little higher than that, but I don't know. We have a lot of gold. Can't be built there. Maybe an archer tower can be built there? It can only be built on top of castle walls, that sucks. Need more stone. Nine people were kidnapped doing, during that raid, so that sucks. Our first kingdom is gonna look like this and it's gonna look quite nice. I like the fact that we have this little kingdom on the outskirts, like this little town. Although it's a pretty big town, it's not a little town. And then in here we have a massive, massive, massive area. So they have no access to charcoal, that's why they're bad, okay. It's good to notice. So we can go ahead and give them access to that, hopefully. And then maybe they'll be a little happier. Nearby pigs are too smelly, oh no. I just don't want access to drinking water, so maybe I don't have a well nearby. The pigs are too smelly, huh? That sucks. So let's demolish those then. I should increase their happiness. Once the water is created as well, it might increase the happiness as well. So let's go ahead maybe and do some piggies up here. like a pig's farm. I don't know. I don't want my people to be mad. So maybe we'll just get this chopped down over here. And we'll add more pig farms in this area. Hopefully that works. Because I don't want the people to be pissed off. I want them to be happy so our happiness can go up. Once the happiness goes up, our health is going to go up and the game's going to run a lot smoother. There we go. So we'll put those back over there. We'll get roads to put back in here. Hopefully that's a little better. Now we can go back to the castle walls. Hopefully get that completed. They have everything they want. Do you have everything you want? You do. You guys have everything you want, you do. You guys have everything you want, you don't. You don't have access to charcoal. All right, so we're gonna get another charcoal maker and put them behind there. Hopefully that helps out. Now, we don't have anybody working at the blacksmith. So maybe once we get more people, they can start working there. Blacksmith, we have five people. I'd rather them work there than the firefighters. That way we can turn that stuff into things that are useful. 
Ooh, that's good. It's gonna allow us to build this here once we get 10 of them. We can start getting even more stone from the quarry. I think that's gonna be a really good investment. The only doubtful is I don't know how on earth we get those things. Let's just do that. It has, to, has no. Nah, it's too far away and not available. Alright, so let's get a charcoal maker there. I don't even know what that is, so we don't really need it, I guess. It requires iron and not available at this time. We have no miners, so that's something we need right away. So that's gonna help out our people to be able to make tools. Instead of them just chilling there doing nothing, it's gonna hopefully make our game a little bit better. But guys, it has already been 20 minutes. This game flies by so much, like you can build literally forever. It's kind of ridiculous. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below. This is Kingdoms and Castles. This is the game I'm going to try and bring you guys at least twice a week. If you want to see it twice a week, let me know down below. If you're excited for what's to come, also let me know. But other than that, what do we always say, baby? See you next time. Peace. Peace. There you go. You silly girl.